Right, I guess we better start off with what I would consider is, uh, you know... <sighs> guff transfer news. I don't know, I mean, there is some guff transfer news coming out this evening. I'm on social media. I'm looking at all the different things that are coming about, about this particular guff transfer news and the latest goings down. I, I would say goings on, but it's actually goings down, isn't it? Because it's a downgrade of, of our right wing if we do end up signing him. But listen, obviously... We are being linked at this moment in time, it looks like, to Anwar El Ghazi. You what? <laughs> That's right, Anwar El Ghazi apparently being linked to Man United. He is a free agent at this moment in time. Obviously, ex Aston Villa player. Dutch vibes. You know, Dutch vibes. Eindhoven vibes. Um, only 28 years of age. Yeah, that one. You know, that one. Yeah, that guy. Anwar El Ghazi. Roddy can't game. Thank you very much for the super sticker, says, how's it going? It's not going too shabbily, my man. How are you getting on? Thank you very much for the super sticker of justice. Super sticker of love. Mate, get in there. Let's get a cheeky little sue in there for, for Roddy. Thank you so much there, buddy. Yep, exactly. Well, there you go. Ronnie Dodge, thank you for getting in here, says, El Ghazi left Ajax in 2017 and Eric took over in 2017. Absolutely. So, look, there's some... There is some sort of Dutch vibes on the go here. I mean, look, the, the point is we're being linked to somebody to come in and replace... Or give us options, at least in that right wing position, because we do have, well, an abundance of issues over in that area. At this moment, we've got obviously these problems with Anthony, which he's been given a leave of absence or, you know, a leave of absence. He's been given at this moment in time to go away and defend himself, basically, because he's facing lots of legal issues right now. Um, we've also got this big problem with old Billy Big Bollocks himself, Jaden Sancho. He's the man, the man with the monster ego. He obviously thinks that he's a scapegoat because he doesn't get selected every single pig in game, even though he's crap. So he is a big problem for Manchester United, no doubt, as well. And, uh, you know, he is a player that we've given quite a lot of faith in over the last couple of years, spent a lot of money on, etc. And he's not really potentially going to be available. Unless he can back down, he's still got these things pinned to his, his social media, etc. Unless he's going to delete that message and, and apologise, it's very unlikely that he will be brought back into the side at this moment anyway by Eric Ten Hag. Which means that United are going to be a little bit threadbare, I suppose, in that right wing position. But are we, though? So there's this link to El Ghazi. You know, let me pop that up on the screen. I mean, it is a speculative link. Let me just say that with a cap capital spec. Because it is a speculative link at this moment in time. You know, it's uh, Chris Wheeler's reporting that Man United are, you know, looking at Anwar El Ghazi, ex-Aston Villa star, amid uncertainty hanging over Anthony and Sancho. Okay, cool. I mean, look, I guess it's not the worst sort of link because he is available... As a free agent, he's not going to cost you a lot of money at all in order to bring this guy in. He has got some Premier League experience. He has got that Dutch connection, suppose, with uh, Eric Ten Hag. But it's just super uninspiring, isn't it? We're going from gash to gasher. So Sancho and Anthony, much as you can say they've not really had a very good time of it over the last season or so, I'd rather them than Anwar Al Ghazi, to be fair. I mean, if we actually look at Anwar Al Ghazi's statistics over the years, um, you know, I mean, he's not terrible in the Eredivisie last season. Got 23 appearances, 8 goals. Uh, season before that, Premier League, 9 appearances, 1 goal, 1 assist. That's garbage. In the 2021 season, though, for Aston Villa, he was able to get 10 goals in 28 games. No assists. The season before that, 34 appearances in the Premier League. Four goals, four assists. The season before that, he's playing in the Championship. So, look, obviously, this is Gash. He's a Gash player for, for Man United standards, if we're being totally honest. He's somebody that, you know, he's got some experience. He's basically just a body. You might as well just uh, tell Mitchell van der Gaard to, to put a kit on and head out there. It's just a fucking body. He's a big potato with arms and legs. That's what's going on. So we're just getting somebody to come in there and play. And okay, he is, a, I guess, a decent player. I mean, he's, he's only, he's, he's, he's had a couple of caps for the Netherlands. Two caps. He's, um, he's 28. So he's not over the hill in terms of his career now. He is obviously still in his prime. But what's his prime? What's Anwar, Anwar El Ghazi's prime? Is it about the same as, I don't know, uh, <laughs> fucking hell, David Beckham when he's 69? Because I'd still rather take Bex now, to be fair, just to whip those balls in. 
take those corners and smash those free kicks, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, there's obviously levels to this game, and he's a bit of a mediocre meltbag. He's all right, isn't he? He's better than a kick in the anus, I suppose. But, Crikey, I mean, let's just ask the live chat right at the start of this stream very quickly this evening. Would you take Amwer Al Ghazi at Manchester United on a free? Yes or no? Get your thoughts and opinions in. Yes or no? Would you have him on a free transfer right now? He's just a big potato with arms and legs, guys. What are we doing with this guy? Uh, let's see. No, says Paul and Dimmy. No, says Nas to the airport. Says Red Olsen. Yes, says Sing Games. No, no. You'll take a kick in the anus. <laughs> nope. Toilet, says Massey. No, says Woody. Yes, says Martin Carlo. Rich Sports, how have you been, mate? I haven't seen you for a bit. Hope you're keeping well, bud. Get in there, my son. How are you? Yes, says SJC Correa. David Diaz says no. Hell no. Of course not, says Kate Cadet. Free is free. Free is free, Michelle Ellis. You're right about that. You know, free is free. You can, yeah, that's certainly true. I'd almost go as far as to say I'd rather Jesse Lingard. In fact, I would. I would rather Jesse, the not so messy Lingard, than Anwar El Ghazi coming back to Manchester United. You know what I'm saying? It's a redonkulous signing if we went and gone and got him, to be fair. It's bang average. It doesn't really do much for our team, in my opinion. OK, it's another body. But you know what, though? Why don't we just have a look at some of the youth players, some of the options we've got in our team right now, and play them? We have a little lad who goes by the name of Afokundo Palistri, who should be coming in to play these uh, games that we are absent without the likes of Anthony and without the likes of Sancho, potentially. We've then got another lad who we paid a £40 million for from Atalanta just a couple of years back who hasn't really had a fair crack of the whip yet at United. And he goes by the name of Ahmad Diallo. There's a couple of players right there who can grasp an opportunity. Sometimes... You put these players into these pressure situations and the diamond is produced. We've actually discovered a couple of players from having to play players out of necessity in recent years. Marcus Rashford's whole career is based on that. You know, if we if we didn't have injury concerns when Louis van Gaal was at the football club and have to basically stick in Marcus Rashford and he actually came in and scored and was successful in that time as, a, as an 18-year-old lad or whatever, we'd probably never see Marcus Rashford get to the level that he's at right now. Give these youngsters some chances. That's what I'm saying. Why are we not trying to give these opportunities to youngsters? To be fair, we probably are. Seems like there's a lot of bullshit going around at the moment with these sorts of links right now. Personally, think this is probably just another guff link. Oh, United need a right winger, so let's just look at the free agents list and make up a story about it. You know, it's that kind of vibe to me. So I don't I don't genuinely think we're going to end up signing Al Ghazi, but there is links with uh, Anwar Al Ghazi, and I guess stranger things have happened. He is a footballer who is available. And you know how United like a cheap footballer who's available rather than go and get necessarily who we should have been going to get. We just uh, we can sign somebody. He's basically just like a right wing version of Voot Veghorst, isn't he, this guy?